have reached the main event of the evening. We have Justin Thompson, Jacob Ray, not the Jacob Ray we all know and love, up there Jacob Ray. Give him a little room so this man can make his way to the octagon. I know that's that threw me for a loop, I looked out at the paper and I was looking up and I was like, the picture doesn't match what is in my brain, but I know I saw that guy backstage and he hasn't fought yet. I'll tell you one thing, I will say that I am the overall level of talent on this card is very impressive. Not one dud on this entire card that I've seen. Yep. It's been like that the past few cards. So I feel like it's slowly amping up. Well, let's talk about it. What's your pick for fight of the night tonight? I think Billy Poe versus Brandon Connolly is mine. That would New line trade is well. fighting 21. Rep arena. I'm going to pull a Keith No and do a twofer here. I'm going to say Billy Poe the as a professional one, fight. Oh. And Glad you hung around. Eric versus Mitchell as the amateur fight. Yeah, Eric versus Mitchell was a great fight. Stick well. with us. Watch so that goes down. Well. And very technical in all aspects of the game. Absolutely. Yeah, both guys in that fight were able to get moments where they shined in their respective areas. To you, very impressive pay -per -view. Of pressure of Mitchell Vaughn. CombatSportsNow.com yep. Yeah, no, and Facebook, from top to bottom, this card bros. was very well put together. And it's ours to Keith and Eric Vaughn for throwing together those matches. Always I get my first look on what's going on at the, fight news. the Jacob Ray news, of Kentucky. News. I believe this is a catchweight 140 bout. I saw that. Maybe 141 or something like that. One, I saw that. 140. Jacob Ray has a ton of amateur experience. I've actually heard about him for a while. Keith told me, you know, it's strange. There's another Jacob Ray that fights in Kentucky that's at the exact same weight class as our Jacob Ray. Well, interestingly enough, it says here in the notes yes, from sir. Keith, wants to fight West Virginia Jacob Ray for the hell of it. <laughs> for so, Jacob Ray's supremacy, I guess. I think, there you go, Jacob. Drop the name. Yeah. they got to start going by Jake. Jake Ray. Jake Raymond. And we see Justin Thompson here fighting out a hybrid MMA. His coach is St Sean Stefanik there. I'm always impressed with this gym. It's one of those uh, camps. You're going to be glad that you hung around for this. It's been nothing but impressive so far. Every guy they've had has come to compete. They're technical. They're sharp. Stefanik is a multiple time world champion in kickboxing. Lexington, Very good Kentucky. Coach. You see him there walking to the corner. Yes, sir. MMA catch weight at 140 pounds. We have out of the blue corner with the black shorts on, gray stripes, fighting out of dull blue suit tie, Jim in Covington, Kentucky, Jacob Little. Hometown crowd 
showing their support for Justin Thompson. And here we go. A lot of energy from Jacob Ray. Thompson with a little bit of a height and reach advantage, it appears. He's sitting back, waiting for Ray to come forward to him. Lots of movement out of Jacob Ray. And he's, we see Thompson just slowly inching his way forward, oh, being that. very methodical, cautious he here. Went back just exactly the right amount of distance for that low kick. He's got such a high-level striking coach there at Hybrid MMA and Sean Stefanik. And you can see it in the footwork that he's using to start to trap Jacob Ray in the corners. Oh, Not even checking. Going for that low kick. Yeah, just a slight step back. It is a nice switch kick to the body. Thompson, I really like how methodical he is in the beginning of this fight. See him using that front foot roundhouse kick a lot. A very little step before it. Ooh, he barely misses that high kick and he gets the body lock. Beautiful shot there. Ends up in guard though. This Jacob Ray. And this crowd is going bananas. Jacob Ray laying with the open guard. He's got underhooks, but. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like he's content to just kind of lay here with this really, overhook. He's got a really control. deep, deep overhook there. Let's see what he does with it. There's a lot of good sweeps you can set up with that. Even subs, that arm bar is right there. As There's well, so much. As well as the triangles on the far side. So much opportunity with this position. Did you see? But he just lets it go. And Thompson using his forehead to help break it apart. Look at that forehead pressure. Be interesting to see if he and he steps down. right over to half guard. But you see, Joe, J Jacob does a great job of recovering. And throwing some good elbows in there. You yes. saw that Tom Thompson kind of looking at the ref like maybe those were 12 to 6. But now he's got the guard open. We'll see if he can start to go past him. Good up kick from Jacob Ray. Somebody's bleeding. I saw that too. I can't it's pinpoint where from, it's come from. It's got to be from one of those elbows. I would agree. That's what I was thinking because it looks like it's dripping off of the top of Thompson's head. It's all over Jacob Ray's face. Yep. Oh, he's content to just kind of chop away at those legs. Sakuraba it's funny. versus Wheeler style. Kentucky Jacob Ray reminds me of West Virginia Jacob Ray. He's talking trash right now. Answers back with an elbow of his own. Yeah, we see him playing this kind of West Coast beam position. He's framing up underneath of there. Now we're going to head and arm. Good job passing there. Let's see if he can maintain it. Jacob Ray has a great uh, little uh, guard recovery there. Nice elbow over the top from Thompson. And Jacob Ray oh, fighting no, from no. the bottom. That's, those are the ones that cut you. He's falling he back for an heel outside hook. heel hook here. Went for the heel hook. Doing a good job. Jacob, Jacob Ray Bruce. trying to fight him off here. Oh, he's, he's going to have to Beautiful straight ankle lock from Justin Thompson to close the show. And that was good. He got the defensive reaction from attacking the heel hook. He got him to, he got him to slip his heel to the inside and extend, which gave him that shotgun grip. And you don't Beautiful see, you don't see a lot of straight ankle locks these days. That's bro. Very difficult to finish. We saw, we saw a little bit of a increased urgency out of Thompson there after he started playing. Jacob Ray is limping. Top, top straight ankle lock. Oh, yeah. Especially with that, that uh, people are going back now to using that full old school Gracie style, the shotgun grip. I had a guy I used to train with, his name was Walt Lane. He had the nastiest straight ankle lock you'd ever see. A lot of guys, I wouldn't tap to him. Like, I, I'd be able to hang out on him. He did it like that, and it was always nasty.
I'm going to go talk to the winner here, Justin Thompson. We're going to close the show. That's a good call, calling on uh, Justin, asking about the 12 to 6 as the reps going over with him right now. Yeah, because explaining it, that it wasn't. And I've seen even at the highest levels, different referees have different interpretations of this. I know Big John and Herb Dean, for instance, have had a disagreement about it, but guys on his back, this is the clock. What is the orientation of the clock? Exactly. Is it always on the wall? Is the clock on the ceiling? Exactly. Uh, when somebody's laying on their back? That's a very good point. You know, in all honesty, uh, even in the loss, I'm I'm super impressed with Jacob Ray. Yeah, I was very impressed. And for very good and performance. for this last bout of the evening, we have a hint, we have a winner. Three minutes, thirty-one seconds into the first round, winner with the heel hook out of the red corner. Justin Thompson! My friend, that was a flawless performance. You got the takedown, landed a lovely straight ankle lock. You got a lot of people here to support you. So tell them how it feels. Hey, it feels amazing. It feels amazing. Look at all. All the love, I feel it. Every time I'm in here, I feel the love from everybody. So, wasn't as clean as I wanted, but you know. <laughs> so what's it like? Does it mean more to you getting a win here in your hometown in front of all these people? Oh yeah, every time. They show up though, they follow me. It's not just my hometown, they follow me around. You know, so it's always love whenever I'm fighting, you know.